To get started, I just added some sample audio with my voice to my timeline. Squeaky voices can be really annoying when you're trying to work with sped up audio. Now I'm going to speed it up by right clicking my audio and going to speed slash duration. Then I'm going to set the speed to 150% and hit OK. As you'd expect, my audio sounds pretty squeaky. Squeaky voices can be really annoying when you're trying to work with sped up audio. The easiest way to fix this is to go back to speed slash duration. Now check the maintain audio pitch option and hit OK. Squeaky voices can be really annoying when you're trying to work with sped up audio. OK, this sounds better, but I'm going to undo clicking that checkbox to show you an even better way. Head over to the effects panel and type pitch shifter into the search box. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the obsolete one because at this point in time, the regular one desyncs your video if you have it attached to your audio. So go ahead and drag pitch shifter obsolete onto your audio. Just press no when the warning pop-up comes up. Now go up to effect controls for the audio. Expand the individual parameters drop down arrow and then expand pitch so you can see this adjustment meter. Drag the notch to the left to lower the pitch a good amount. I'm going to set mine to negative seven. Squeaky voices can be really annoying when you're trying to work with sped up audio. This still doesn't sound quite right and that's because format preserve is turned on. So expand that option and then drag it to the left to turn it off. Squeaky voices can be really annoying when you're trying to work with sped up audio. All right, now the audio sounds much better. Okay, and that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.